Today I'm going to be installing a 240 volt outlet for my amp miner. Should work for the S17, S19, T17, all the ones that have two plugs for the power supply. So what I like to do is get all my tools together first. For this we're going to be putting in two uh, double pole 20 amp breakers and two outlets. They're going to look like that. So when you get started on this, first you're going to want to make sure you cut off your main breaker. For me, this is a sub panel, so I'm going to cut mine off on the other side. Um, you're going to remove screws there, there, there from the face of your panel. And then you want to get a tool, something like this. You could use a multimeter. And you want to make sure your power is off. You can see mine is not. So I'm going to cut that off before getting started. So here I'm going to be using MC cable. It's this uh, metal clad cable. Uh, it's good for commercial warehouse applications, which is what I'm in. You may have something different. If you're running this in a home, you're going to want to use like Romex or whatever your local building code is. So make sure you verify that. And once you've got your cable picked out, you're going to want to run it. For me, I'm running it down this channel through here and I'll strap it down later. And I'm going to use these uh, snap tight knockout connectors because we're going into metal boxes. And you'll just prep your wire, leave, you know, I always like to take uh, my hand there, run it out a little past your thumb, and that should be enough wire to have room. So if you are using MC cable, which you may or may not be, you're going to want to use these little red sleeves and they just attach here and slide up in there to keep that uh, that sharp metal there from, get it focused, to keep that from puncturing your wire and causing a short out or anything in the future. So once you have your wire run to where you want to send it, you're going to take and you're going to hook all these around. Just use a pair of pliers and just going to fold them around like that. So you can hook them onto your outlets like that. So you're going to have, you get these gold screws here, those are your hots. So you're going to use a black and a white because there's no neutral on the 200 volt setups. Then you get your green will go to your ground. And it doesn't matter which order you hook these up in uh, on your hots. So another thing you want to make sure of is when you're putting them on here, you put them on in a clockwise fashion. That way that uh, hook really gets sealed in when you turn your screw. And it'll uh, get a, a good tight connection that's not going to come loose. So another thing I would recommend doing is take some electrical tape and run it around your your uh, lugs on the side and that way if you ever were to touch it and it was hot um, or a wire for some reason came loose you're not going to have a, a problem with it shorting out especially on a metal box All right, so once you've got your outlets installed and with the wires tucked in nice and neat we're going to move back over to the breaker panel all right, we're back at the breaker panel. So next we need to cut our wire off here. And we're just gonna measure. We're gonna be going through this bottom panel here. And we're gonna be going up to that space right there and the one above it. So we're just gonna measure up a bit past this, find a good spot, and then cut the wire off. So now we've got our wire run. And we're going to go ahead and hook it up to our breaker. So what you're going to do is you're going to hook your black and white wire into those connections. You have to loosen this screw, which is going to be probably a square head. I can't remember if it's a number one or number two. Um, but just grab a square bit and you'll figure it out. And then, yeah, we'll just stick this black wire in right there and tighten it down and we'll be ready to stick it on our breaker panel. Alright, so we're going to take this, you're going to put the back side of the breaker in first, like that, and then you're just going to push it down until it clicks. And now it's in there. And then we're going to take our ground wire, 
We're going to hook it up to this bar. You can put it in any of these slots. And then tighten it down with a, looks like a square head in this one. So now we've got everything screwed in. You just want to push your wires back, make sure they're not in the way. And then you're ready to turn your breaker on. And that's how you wire up for your amp miner.